What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of Fallout New Vegas. We are in the north part of the game. Uh, some folks wanted us to do another DLC. Uh, in the last episode, we did pick up the All-American, which we've repaired. Uh, picked up a decent number of 556 five, rounds, and we're going to use that uh, for now. And we're going to see what we've got here. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. That dude sounds like the guy uh, who uh, really, really liked the plants in the last DLC. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. That's really we shitty. A bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Okay. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? Nah, fine. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Sacktown? That is an awful name. Run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Outstanding. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. All right. Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80. Or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. So get some guys with sniper Ogden's rifles. Just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. Oh, great. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Outstanding. Well, they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyway. <laughs> I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. Fair enough. But don't think that just because they're religious that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen too. Oh, great. Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Okay. Shoot. Just don't. Wait, what? It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either. The who? Man. Trust me on this one. <clears throat> it's for your own good. Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. Oh, great. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Well, it ain't good. It ain't good. That. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safe. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places awesome. to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy checked up on cams. On cams, violent as hell. <laughs> not too bright. I like them stupid. The worst of the eighties, but we won't be passing through their turf on this run. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're <laughs> downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. Oh, great! You got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really got to watch out for are the white legs. From the great the what? lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. 
Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for <laughs> thanks. That's fucking awesome. This is gonna be fun. I can tell already. Uh no. Alright, let's do it. I bet you are. But we only got room for one more on this expedition. That's fine. You'll have to leave your friends behind. Stay behind, friends. Yeah. Reckon you will. Either. Seventy-five pounds or less. Fuck. Okay. Alright, Edie. It's time for you to hold some shit. There is no way I'm getting under 70 pounds. I'm just throwing that out right now. Um, this is going to be rough. Alright, we're keeping the uh, and we're keeping the uh, All-American and the Material Rifle. Uh, those have no weight. Those have no weight. No weight. None of this has weight. Doctor's bags. I'm keeping those. Where is all my weight coming from? Whoa, here we go. Uh, I'm going to try and hang on to that. You can have Fido. Oh my god, really? There literally isn't any weight from anything. Right away, I need to keep that. Ride shotgun, you can have that. Stealth boys. Have all of those. Stim packs I'm keeping, keep my sunset sass. I'm oh I want the Tesla cannon. Do I need the really really need it though? That's eight weight. Turpentine, you have all of those. What is this? Uh, sneak, okay. Weapon repair kits. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to get rid of the Tesla. I'm still way. Oh Jesus, dude. Yeah, it's the fucking power armor. It's the fucking power armor. All right, give me back. Give me back the Tesla cannon. You can have the power armor. You know, I'm going to leave the Tesla cannon here, too. I don't think I need it. And I don't have any shots left on it, anyway. So I'll leave that here, too. Okay. Um, so now I'm naked. Uh, we're going to need some kind of apparel. I, I, I need something. Um, let's see. I'm gonna head back to Gunrunners real quick and see if I can get them to sell me something. I don't think he even has. Well, no, he has Welcome, Calm Armor. Sir. Show me what you have for sale. I am. Alright, let's go to Apparel. Can't use Combat Armor. Recon Armor. Weight 20. Sneak 5. That's pretty cheap, actually. Uh, damage threshold 13. Um, yeah. How much is that? That's three. Does it offer anything? Just some extra damage threshold. All right, I'm gonna buy this. Recon armor and recon helmet. Dude, that thing. That thing looks badass right there. Okay, exit. All right, goodbye. Come back. And see us again soon. Okay. Let's do items. Apparel. Recon armor, recon helmet. Okay. You. What's up? Time for you to stay here, bitch. Why does everyone. Okay. Then I guess I'll be back at the. Sounds good. Alright, Edie. Beeping sound. Uh, companion protocol terminates. And companion protocol. Okay. Back up. Alright. Uh, yes, I'm four over, but um, I believe, according to the guys on the stream, there should be a way to talk to some of these other people and increase my weight limit. You looking for trouble, bud? 
I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. You wanna know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see, and done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking swarm <laughs> of death. Okay. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. I can't wait to kill in this fact, guy. Yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. Something tells me that's this guy is going to be curled up in the fetal position the first time we get into fight. Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. <laughs> that's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Death jaws? Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. No, no, you <laughs> heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death <laughs> claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them steel brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. <laughs> so I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam. Don't you mean right 10 mil? This helmet, DOA. Then I guess this dumb fucker's armor must have been D series or something. All I know is he died up real dead when I killed him. He died up real dead. Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah. I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <gasps> ah, fuck! Oh my god. I travel light on purpose, okay? But if the price is right, I'll tell Jed I'm carrying less. So you can carry more. What's your offer? You got a deal. A hundred caps, trust? really? All right. Now I can carry a hundred. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where the fuck you think? Vault two, two, two. two. That's where I grew up. I know everything. I know all about it. But I ain't about to tell the likes of you. I can't wait to kill this guy. I have a sworn vow of secrecy or something like that. To the people I left behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got the suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Oh, that's fucked up. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? Oh, my God. Well, I wish I could figure out uh, that. Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head. Oh man, you this my time dude. Put it in words you could understand. I hate this guy. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't <laughs> just like you know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm going to guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Right, right. Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Bullshit! <laughs> nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy! This is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyway? I love this dude. Um, now if I tell him to leave, 
Does that mean I lose my 75 deal? Because if I get rid of him, I'm hoping I don't I don't lose the weight thing. Because if I lose the weight thing, that would really, really suck. And I, I don't want to do that. So, I... I think I'm going to let him come with me. Because like I said, I, I can't get rid of him. Because if I get rid of him, it could really come back and bite me in the ass. So, I'm just going to let the guy know... That I can fucking doom switch his ass if I want to. Plus, if I let him come along, then there's a chance that I might get to shoot him in the face later on. Fine. Just keep it to yourself, alright? Don't be such a fucking jerk about it. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I really want to kill him. Alright, let's talk to this douche. Oh, these are the guards. Prim has a new sheriff. Hey, still. Looking to join this caravan, huh? The fuck is wrong with your like face? You can handle yourself? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Oh, wow. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. Dude, that sounds like my kind of town. Buzz factors off the charts. Non stop whoring and drugs. Walk in there walk with. The without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Walk in there with my anti-material rifle and my all-American, just deal with the bitches. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, it was someone from town, drunk off his ass, oh, trying to win an argument snap. with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, yeah. now I do this. What's the difference? <clears throat> raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, oh, there man. wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. God damn creepy. <laughs> yeah. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. <clears throat> Soon enough, the white legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the white legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. All right, I think we're good to go get now. You another time, then. I was hoping she'd have a quest. I know some of you guys get real mad when I listen to all the text, but I wanted to make sure that there wasn't another quest like that dude's got. So. All right, um, we're going to do one other thing real quick before we move forward. Um, I'm going to head back to the sink. Oh, God, please tell me I didn't give that item up. If I gave that item up, we're not going back to the sink. Okay, good. reason we're going back to the sink, I need to heal up, and I completely forgot about it. I trust matters regarding your brain. Yeah. Well, I haven't killed you. And rightly so, I should think. All right, uh, basic physical exam. He'll repair us up. Now we're good to go. I need to make sure that this we guy gives me all of stem packs. Very oh, good, damn it! I hit the wrong button. Sorry. How much? Recon armor. Ten thousand. Fuck yourself. Will right. sir be staying for any? 
Let me buy some stem packs and then we will head into the uh, DLC. Please have stem packs. Please have stem packs. Thank you. I will buy them all. No. There we go. How are we doing on weight? Perfect. All right. Let's head up north and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I guess it would help if I pop that weapon again, huh? You know, it'd be really nice if that weapon, which is capable of teleporting me from anywhere, would actually, you know, teleport me back to wherever the fuck I was when I used it. I'm just saying. Alright. We got the All-American. Got the Anti-Material Rifle. Um, stim pack should be four. Right. Yep. And then five and six are Rataway and Rad X, which we don't really need to worry about. All right. Let's get this party fucking started. Are you here to join me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Let's fucking do it. Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no yeah. whining about old Mr. <laughs> I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Let's do it. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. All right. This is going to be raw, dude. I got a feeling. The paths we're following are slow going. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. <laughs> a few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the new Canaanites that that worked out well. were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was Ooh. the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure <laughs> wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch. Oh, damn! And thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Ow, that's fucked up! After, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. Yeah, good luck with that. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the ways. <laughs> the burned man. Probably just a tribal ghost story. Oh my but god. But has been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon. And finally found his way back home. Oh, shit, dude. I got a bad feeling about this. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion, I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. <laughs> and the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, 
We've got the maps on our friends Pip Boy over there. And up oh, there's, the, gagging, there's an airplane. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. That's a crashed plane. It's not a problem. Who are these two douchebags? Oh, they're defense. Alright, gonna go and save. Hold on now. I could swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it, ambush! Cover people! Watch yourself! Alright, what's up, white legs? I'm gonna introduce your face to a 50 caliber round. If I recall, this is about a half inch across and about uh, five, six inches long. Kind of leaves an impression on a person. Which apparently I didn't even hit. Oh, got him that time. Ah! Whoa! Oh, God. God, what? No! They're fucking everywhere, dude! What are you shooting at? There's nothing up there! Well, that didn't work out too well. Guess I'm on my own now. Holy fucking shit! Well, Stella, I'm real sorry you died, but I'm gonna go ahead and loot your body, cause, well, you don't need it anymore, and this dumbass over here made me drop everything, so. Just help myself to. I'll, I'll take those sunglasses, bitch! I'm gonna take those fucking sunglasses! <laughs> Alright. Uh, wow. So, um, kind of feel bad for these people, but, uh, there wasn't much I could do for them. These people got fucking whacked, dude. Holy shit, alright. What is Dark Dakura? Makes you stupid and lowers your hit points. Why would anyone ever drink that, or eat that, or whatever? Oh, throwing tomahawks? Oh. Alright. And um yeah, you had a bad day. Alright. Looks like we got one more up here somewhere. <sighs> Those are anti-material rifles. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Holy shit. Okay, we're good. Now, when you look down the barrel of a 50 and notice there's another 50 looking down at you, it's kind of a scary situation. Good news is we got another anti material rifle. Yay!